Hi everyone, this is Ray Williams here, one of the halves of Coco Bloom's Chocolate Bouquets in the UK. The other half being, of course, my wife Natalie, who is very much the crafter and teacher in her chocolate or candy bouquet training courses. Now, back in February 2018, we had a student called Claire Davis from Manchester, England, who came to us to attend a one-to-one -one training course in how to make great chocolate bouquets and she also took the business training manuals on how to set up your own small chocolate bouquet business. Well since being on the course Claire has done pretty well and has worked really hard and uh, has built up uh, a nice little business and she's just experienced her first really business Christmas season selling a wide range of chocolate bouquets. She has her own great website which you can check out yourselves if you wish at candyblossoms.co.uk. That's www.candyblossoms.co.uk. She also has a Facebook and Instagram pages, which are all doing pretty well. And she's building up a solid customer base that's feeding repeat and regular new business for her. Claire is a busy mum of two young children and works on her business around her other commitments. And in this 30-minute interview, I ask her how she got started after her training, where she is now, and what 2019 holds for her. So let's now get on to the call and join Claire. So, Claire Davis, welcome to the call. Thank you. Can I, um, just uh, for those who are listening, just wanted to hold this conversation with you and have a chat through um, how you have found um your business and how you got started etc after our training which i think i can't remember what it was now was it march of that last year was it it was last year 2018 yeah something like february march wasn't it yeah february march last year that's right you came to our training in um warrington on the uh -huh. one to one uh and i know that um sometimes you could you can you know tell some people are really really motivated to get on with it and i can see how excited you were when you finished the training and you're really keen to get going I remember when we chatted afterwards about uh, what you were looking to do so um I just want to take you back because I, I mean we'll come on to this later but I know that you've left your job since uh, since our training which was something you were looking to do anyway but why around this time last year why did you get involved in, in wanting to run a crafts business what's what was prompted you to do that okay well every Christmas I'd either I'd look to buy chocolate bouquets for my children in in place of um, like selection boxes, and I picked a couple of up over a, over a couple of different years, mm -hmm. and I kind of just thought that I want to have a go at it and maybe do it a little bit different or it wasn't the way that I would want it to be. So I just mm -hmm. took the decision to make my own. Now right. that okay. was. Christmas before I had the training with yourself and Natalie. Yeah, it was December 2017. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I started having a bit of a play around. Um, really enjoyed what I was doing. The stuff that I was producing at that point was really good. Um, mm -hmm. But then I kind of was just surfing the internet and then came across, obviously, yourselves um, yeah. and thought, wow, um there's so much more to it than what you initially think so that's kind of how it, it progressed but it first of all started off by the fact that it was a gift that I was making or I wanted to make for my for my children um instead of mm -hmm. buying them every year yeah and um at that time I think you were making uh chocolate or candy bar style bouquets if I'm rightly is that correct did you was, did you were you making Ferrero Rocher and Lindt bouquets as well? I wasn't. No, I didn't know how to do them at all. That that right. they kind okay. of blew my mind to begin with. It was it was basically just the chocolate bars, mm -hmm. and it, it's not the chocolate bars like how you taught me with with the fifteen at the front. It was just a basic, yeah. the bars in the back sticking out. Mm -hmm. um, it was with tissue paper, and they looked good, and I was really yeah. pleased with them. But when I compare to what how I now do them yeah I can very much see the difference and yes. and that's a lot of it's been obviously the taught, taught from from Natalie and, and learning a different yeah. way and using different techniques and different materials because mm. I think um I mean the chocolate bar bouquets there are so many around nowadays they're on eBay Amazon everywhere. yeah but the vast majority of them are um uh, they're quite low cost and they don't look in my view, they don't look 
as high quality as, as they could be. And yeah, no, in front, I agree. photographs they might look the same, but when people actually see them physically, they can see the difference completely in terms of as it, the quality and the difference of paper and the more chocolate and the whole design. I completely agree. Things. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And how did you? I mean, I think you took to the training pretty well, if I recall. Um, I bit, loved it. I had an amazing day. Yeah. Yeah, I don't remember you being very enthusiastic afterwards and you couldn't stop smiling. You were so excited to get started. Definitely. Um, um, and um, so when you'd finished the, the training, what's, what was your general sort of plan after that? What's, what were the general things you then got up to following the training? Um, following the training, a lot of it was practising. I kind of, I took to it quite well, to be honest, and I don't, I don't necessarily see myself as a crafty person but mm-hmm. I can't I did take to doing the bouquets and I you know I putting them together I mean I still I don't struggle but sometimes with the chocolate bar bouquets I can get them and I can do them a lot quicker than the Ferrero yeah. Lint ones and it's like the placing mm-hmm. of it to make sure that it's all balanced and it looks sure. right so for me my thing was was practicing and I kind of to begin with I stayed away from the Ferrero and Limp ones, because mm-hmm. I was a little bit, not scared of them, but I was a little bit like unsure as to whether I would make them look okay. And and it was just yeah. more and more people asking for them, following on from, from the training that, you know, yeah. I've kind of got into them. And I kind of prefer making those ones now. Um, mm. And, I've you know, I do them a little bit different than... Yeah. like size wise same amount of chocolates yeah. and stuff in them but the size of them yeah. I do you know a little bit different than than how you taught me but I suppose yeah. it's just making them your own and putting your own spin on it as well well that's exactly the um that's exactly the, the advice that we give because I did the day we just teach to the very high standard that nothing Absolutely. teaches which and then um but that you need to have a a range which I can see you've done on your website, Candy Blossoms. Um, you use a range of different types of bouquets in different sizes, but the training teaches you, as you found out yourself, to you know master how to make it to a really high standard, um, and then you can take those skills and apply them to yeah. make different types of bouquets, which is what you've done. And I, I think it's it's good that you um, have adapted it to suit yourself, which um, yeah. which I think is important. Yeah, um, I mean, and. That- you know, it's it's the skills that I learned on that day because I wouldn't have even have had a clue. I didn't have a clue how to make those mm. ones, and you know, it's and it's just the little things of of using the right materials that, that really do make the difference. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's that's where I am now. Obviously, we briefly touched about the website that I've got, and I've got like yep. my little business and stuff. But I suppose that's that's where I am now. Just trying to move that forward into the next. The next stage really yeah because um because following the training um you you just said that obviously you, you start practicing which is exactly the right thing to do yep. to get the, the you can make them comfortably and i presume then you started create experimenting with different colors different themes etc yeah different colors um different chocolates and stuff um i think if I remember rightly the big thing that happened was kind of mother's day um yep. And then that was quite a big, big time for me for Mother's Day last year and, and different colours and and being able to give give different examples of what of what you can do because with the best will in the world you can look at the fabric and you can look at the chocolates, but sometimes it's a little bit different difficult to see how it's all gonna look together. Um so it's it's enabled me to get quite a good portfolio really of, of different bouquets that I've made from from customers that have asked for specific chocolates as well and or you know in their in their the way that they want them made up in relation to the colors and stuff and it's just given me a, a good base to be able to move forward and to to practice what i'm doing and to make you know some really really nice pretty bouquets absolutely i mean i've, you know, I've seen your site and the, it's first of all it's great to see the bouquets um, certainly the ones that uh, are similar size, the one that Natalie's taught you look 
virtually identical, yeah. if not the same thing. You couldn't tell the difference. So obviously the training's worked there, which is great. But you, you, you've also experimented with them different styles, particularly at Christmas. Or, you know, I mean, for those people listening, we tried to get this call done before Christmas, but yeah. you, know, you were flat. You were flat out. We were flat out, and uh, here we are now in uh, January the twentieth, just holding this call. So I, I, I saw some of your Christmas ranges. You had a little. Uh, felt a little sleigh um, which you made um, with some bit of chocolate bouquet using a sleigh which looked really, really interesting so um, it's, it's good that you've taken that and uh, developed further when people say you say people you've been obviously bespoken them to what people have been asking for so they've been asking for different type of chocolate is they is that many chocolate bars they wanting specific chocolate bars or yeah I mean a big one for me or well the one that's been quite popular is just like the ultimate Terry's chocolate orange. So, yes. you know, that seems a bit of a favourite with quite a few different people. Or mm -hmm. just Galaxy. So, you know, there's been a couple there where people have asked for them for different in different colours, like pink ones or blue ones. or um, mm -hmm. And then the lint as well, because obviously the lint, you can get the truffles, but you can also yes. get the lint sticks as well, can't you? The bar sticks. So people right, yeah. in the bars... So people have been asking them in relation to the bars. Um, I've mm -hmm. made some different ones in relation to blacks, the um, green and black chocolate with yep. That's um, a more high cocoa chocolate. in front. Yeah. <laughs> so mm -hmm. you know, it's 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 different ones because people have asked me to do um, different styles, and and it's it's trying to come up with ways of getting the chocolate that they want in looking looking really well as well, and because. You know, to make sure that it all sits as it should do, and it, it looks a beautiful gift. So, in terms of um, moving on from making the bouquets to how you've um, found your customers, etc. Um, I mean, you would have got a marketing manual from us as part of the package. Did you find that useful in giving you the right ideas of how to get going? Yeah, um, it did give me some really, really good ideas. Um, but I've, I've kind of I've got a a marketing lady as well who he she was the one that did my website okay, um good. and she's she's really really helpful in relation to the general marketing of stuff um but yeah your your manual it's like some of the chocolate suppliers as well um chocolate buttons you know for the chocolate hearts mm. and i wouldn't even have found them if it hadn't been for the manual um and yeah. it's just about getting out there and going into shops and um Having the confidence in your, in your products as well. Um, mm -hmm. I'm quite lucky that I've got a lovely little cake shop. Um, a Is it a miles. case of the stocking, the stocking yeah, of bouquets? She does what she has. She has two bouquets in of different of different um, colours, and people right. um, go in there obviously to order the cakes. And then if yes. they want a bouquet, it's arranged mm -hmm. that I drop the bouquet off there so that they collect the bouquet up and, and, the, and the cake at the same time. So it works really really well. Okay, so that's one of the ways that um, you're getting your bouquets out there. But what other methods have you been using to promote your, your bouquets? Facebook, Instagram, um, mm -hmm. a lot of, I've, I've done quite a few of like Christmas fairs and I did the Lowry Makers Market So um, at Christmas. Mm -hmm. So getting out there, dropping my business cards and my leaflets. So it's been hard work. Mm -hmm. But it's been absolutely, yeah, absolutely worth every minute. I found it really good having this cake shop as well. That's 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 been mm. really beneficial for me. Good. Yeah, I think um, I think in the in the uh, marketing manual we talk about um, the independent retailers. We find it a um, you know because you know with the cake shop, it's they're there you're getting regular orders, uh, um, you know, and they're sitting there for you. you can, people buy them, and uh, you've got a good relationship built up. Uh, I think we've been finding that when we went initially around the car shops, we gave our one in three trial acceptance rate. Um, so yeah, it, is, um, it just takes a bit of, a bit of effort and uh, you need to get out there a little bit, but that's just one way of doing them. But I mean, through Facebook and social media, um, I mean, have, have you did you have a quite a good following already, or, or yeah, did you start? I didn't have a massive following before I started it. I mean, I'm getting mm -hmm. up to about a thousand on each one now. Um, okay. Nine hundred and something on Facebook, and, and the same around that figure in in on Insta. 
Mm-hmm. And that does generate sales. Um, I mean, I've had one today. Well, I've had two today, actually, messages sent to me, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, so, and that's just in one evening on a Sunday. So, yeah. you know, for me, I think that's that's really good because I'm, I'm still very new. I've not even been going 12 months. Um, yeah. It takes a while to get your product out there and for people to to come back to you as well. Having repeat customers has been brilliant because, you know, yes. if you're someone's coming back and spending the money, you know you're doing something right. Um, hmm. So... Because I, yeah. I assume the reaction to bouquets has been people being overwhelmed by how yes. great they look here. Yeah. It's been amazing, yeah. Um, but when I've dropped a couple off myself and to see the actual recipient's face has been like, oh, wow, <laughs> yeah. It, and it does make you feel really proud. Yeah, it does. You've, you've created a really lovely gift for them, and um, yeah, it's it is quite a pleasure that when they get surprised and they wonder what it is, and then they just you get an email later or a Facebook message saying it was absolutely amazing. Thanks so much indeed. Yeah. How great it was. Um, Definitely. So, so have you have you actually run any promotions on Facebook? Or have you just been I've, relying I've on run a couple? I've not run loads. Um, yeah. um so it's quite I've, cost effective. I've, don't they? Yeah, I mean, I've, it's not that I'm adverse to doing them. I've just kind of not. I've done a couple last year. I don't think I've done anything. I mean, obviously mm. we're only in January, but um, I've got I've got a promotion through my website where if they sign up and they order a bouquet, there's like a code where if they order on the website, they can get like a percentage mm. off. Okay, um, good. So I do I do that. I send me. A, Mail chimps out, so obviously I'm, I'm starting getting yep. a following with um, with that way. I've started a blog, which people are kind of finding me through that as well, through and mm-hmm. which goes back to my website. So it's just all those those little things that obviously help to to get your name out there and to get your following. Yeah, that's uh, that, that's interesting. Um, uh, and you mentioned Mailchimp there. You know, a lot of people won't know what that is, but basically, it's uh, we use it as well. It's a it's, it's a mailing tool for email addresses. So when you when you capture email addresses, you can use it then as a as a database for emailing promotions, etc. So, so it's good that you're capturing people's email addresses and then you're building up a little you know a customer base for yourself that you can build some sort of interaction with and the relationship with, which is what we use. And um, you're now you're now on list. I think they've seen some you know, some activity, particularly around Christmas time. With promotions and uh, yeah i had to do a competition i wanted that it was amazing uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah we ran a competition that's right yeah and, that, and the whole purpose of running the competition to win the bouquet was to um get more email addresses that's basically what we did it for and so yeah. we ran the co- and it wasn't very expensive at all but to run yeah i think we doubled that you know probably increased our mail list by about I think about 60 percent i think yeah. So we had a really good response. So, um, it's, but yeah, it's that, it's that type of activity is um, is is all part of you know, getting it up and running. But you know, I think um, I think in the marketing manner we covered a wide range of ways to promote them and sell them with quite a bit of detail. You know, we do say to everybody, it's you choose what you feel is is right for you. Um, yeah. So you know, you've chosen what is working for yourself, and that's fine. There are other people who will rent uh, mobile stalls in shopping precincts etc and uh, we're happy to sell them that way others will be wanted to sell them through florists and card shops etc so there's just so many ways to get them out there which i think you've experienced yourself as well yeah i mean it was lovely at christmas getting out there i did a couple of like i said before a couple of christmas um fairs christmas market kind of things and i, I did down at the lowry at Salford keys the big one there the makers market and that was lovely getting people getting my, my business cards out there i mean from from something last year from a um a bouquet that went out i've got a wedding in april so that's Fantastic. That's, pretty, well done. that's pretty cool where i'm doing all the table centers for this lovely couple um and you know i'm looking really looking forward to doing that because part of the problem with home i think is getting some really good quality images and as a small yes. business I've, I've not got the money to get somebody in Yep. And I'm not a hundred percent sure of the white of the white background. I know you get to see the product, but I, mm. that kind of doesn't always sit right with me. Um, okay. So I have a lovely little place in my back garden where I take all mine at the moment. Um, and it's fun when it's raining and you're standing there with your umbrella and you're trying not to get. <laughs> but hey ho, it's, it's part and parcel of it. 
but you know i'm really looking forward to to april to do this wedding to get some really really good images yeah that'd be a good opportunity for you to do that um yeah and it, it makes them very interesting for weddings because um the advice we we we, do, we don't do that many weddings because we don't promote ourselves heavily in that area but when we did do some weddings uh, we would encourage the bride to well the best man is doing them so that they can eat the chocolates doing the speeches um so these are the centerpiece of the whole wedding and then they just enjoy it with their coffee etc so but it's up to each bride so what do we do yeah but, um, so that's good armory really please got that because that's a bulk order for you so uh, that's that's excellent yeah and um I mean, the events that you did at Christmas, um, these in the Lowry Centre at uh, Manchester um, in Salford there, um, how did that go? How, what was the response? Because you had a range of Christmas bouquets and uh, what was the response from the public who saw them? Yeah, it was a really, really a brilliant response. Um, many people were walking past and saying, wow, I've, I've seen bouquets before, but these are some of the best ones that I've ever seen, which obviously is is, is yeah, it's brilliant it's for me, and it's, it. you know that I'm actually doing something right. You know, I had a really good, good few days down there. Um, really enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, me follow. Obviously, me following's grown, which has been brilliant. The feedback mm-hmm. was amazing. Um, I did one down at um, Albert's. You know, there's an Albert's restaurant in in on the East Lanks at Swinton, and I did. Okay. Um, I did a, a, one of their Christmas fairs and the feedback from that one was amazing as well, you know. And in a way, the, well, the one at Albert's was kind of better than the one at Salford Keys because with me being outside, mm-hmm. I cellophane everything to protect it and you can't always see all the details when it's behind the cellophane. I see. Yeah. Whereas the one at Albert's, mm. people could actually touch it because obviously it's not tissue paper and you need to, I think a lot of it with these gifts is to actually physically to be able to see them and pick them up and have a really nice look yeah. at them. And that's, uh, I think that's the key point around doing um, events like that because it's fine having pictures, but when people physically see these bouquets, these, the quality of these chocolate bouquets, they, first of all, it attracts them to the stand, they get fascinated by them and they can see the qualities themselves. Yeah. And it helps, it makes it easier to, to sell them. On the, on they sell the themselves really. Um, when, once yeah. you can actually see them and you can touch them and you can actually see them up close if someone wants a gift like that they just kind of sell themselves they're, they're really you do need to see them though I think yeah I, I agree with you I think a combination of physical selling um, and online and building a database of customers and contacts is, is certainly uh, some key strategies to help develop the business going forward because you um you left your job um, last year as well. I know that's something you, you know, even before for the trainer, something you, you said you were looking to do anyway. Um, and it was that because I remember with, I think you, you I don't talk about what you you know where you were working etc. But you found your job and fulfilling, and you felt I think you remember rightly you were saying that you felt you could do better by working for yourself, and you had so much. Yeah, it was a combination of lots. Of, yeah, a combination of lots of different mm-hmm. reasons, um, and the opportunity presented itself to be able to, to mm. start my own business. So I kind of just took mm. it really. Um, it just happened to fall at, at the right time. Yeah. It was the right thing for me to do, um, mm. and I kind of just took the plunge to see to test the water and just to see how things go. And I presume it's a decision you uh, stand by all along. Yeah, I love it. It's great. I'm I'm so glad that. Um, I'm so that I did the training, that I'm doing what I'm doing now. Um I really do enjoy it. I mean, at the moment you need to get yourself out there, you need to get yourself noticed and and businesses start up all the time, don't they? Not everything not everyone is successful from day one or from the first year. And it's just about being tenacious and just keep keep going on and on and just moving your business forward in the best way that, that mm. you can really. That's right. Uh, I mean, we were the same. We, you know, it took. I mean, Coco Blooms is about eight years old now, but uh, I think certainly for the first few months it was, uh, you know, slow going, trying to find our feet and, and uh, find the right opportunities and trying some ways of selling them and adjusting the range and developing the range, etc., and getting it 
to a position where it's, it started to work, it started to click together. Yeah. You know? um, and uh, that's the key thing. And, um, and and probably, you know, we focus very heavily on getting into uh, gift shops and card shops and stocking them because we knew that once they're there, they, they would start selling straight away, which yeah. they did. And this, they had to... To this, carried on to this date, so, but I think it's um, it's it's getting a combination of things and take you know making sure that you, the range is correct and everything that you have happy with the range. So, what are you typically? What's a typical week for you now? And how much time are you spending uh, on candy blossoms during the week? Would you say at the moment? It's not as busy as I would like it to be. Um, but I've had I've had a very quiet Christmas. I've had a, in relation to. No, sorry, that's completely wrong. I've had a mad Christmas and yes. um, I'm just about getting back on my feet now and, and just trying to to plan for what's happening next, just planning for Valentine's. I've got lots of ideas that I'm trying mm-hmm. to, that I'm in the middle of, I think I've got about six bouquets different on the go at the moment from different ideas that I want to get mm-hmm. out there. And so it's just a case of, I'm not spending as much time as I want to, but that's because of personal circumstances as well. But we well, still got a family, have you? To yeah, look yeah, with the with yeah, the with the ones. girls yeah. and that. Um, but no, it's it, I'm pleased with where I am, and I'm pleased with how what I'm doing. Um, and it's just mm-hmm. about, you know, like I say, I'm I'm not even it's not even twelve months. It's just been just over six really, and I'm really yeah. pleased where I've come in that in that space of time. So it's just and, nice to um, keep plodding on. Yes, exactly. I presume your plans for this year is, is pretty much the same, just building your customer base up, uh, expanding your routes to market and uh, building on your orders. And you, you're right, you've got Valentine coming up, then you go into Easter. So it's, it's always the first half of the year is so busy with Valentine, Easter and Mother's Day. And Mother's Day. Christmas last yeah. day is huge. I presume you're going to be planning to hit those pretty big this year. Bear in mind, you're, you're, you're well ahead now from where you were this time last year. Yes. That's my plan. Yeah, I'm. Uh, <laughs> yeah, fingers crossed, eh? <laughs> yeah, good. Well, it's been um, it's been lovely chatting to you, Clara. Thanks for all the uh, the insights, and uh, it's good to catch up and see how uh, you know you you've taken it forward. Uh, you, you basically yeah. working full time on your business, and uh, you know you're pleased with where you're at. You've had some success to date as well. That's 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 really great. So really yeah. appreciate your time. No worries. Uh, on the call. Well, my thanks to Claire Davis for speaking to me there about her uh, chocolate bouquet business experience. And if you're interested in learning how to make chocolate bouquets to the Cocoa Bloom standard, whether it'll be just for perhaps you want to make them for friends and family for gifts as a hobby, or even if you want to do what Claire did and start as a small business, then please visit our website, cocoablooms.com and follow the links to the business and the training pages. Or you can send us an email to info at cocoblooms.co.uk that's info info at cocoblooms.co.uk or you can find us on facebook thank you very much for listening i hope you found that of interest bye bye now